Hello and welcome to August 18th, Alpha's KR at a 302%. Also, look, our stochastic is moving back up to 0.1, still bursting in 19.9 on SPY. Let's go look. There is SPY. And then here is our calcs getting to the 0.1, 0 point. So it's 0.1 here for the stochastic strategy. On now to the main event. Let's go here to KR. Here is KR. Look at that nice move. We already have our, our first our, our fifth, fifth ratio stop. When do we move this one up higher? Well, you can see there's a nice plateau right in here in this zone. And there's a nice low, there's a nice low point right in here. Uh, also, there's a low here. There's a nice little dipper low here. So we get up to the 12th or 13th ratio then we might be looking up to moving the stop to here. I don't want to get too close because I do not want to just, I do not want to contaminate. That'd be a good word. I do not want to contaminate the DTE trading plan. We are going to go to October 15. And if you notice we're today, we're at August 18. Uh, also to a shout out to my brother whom uh, has left us a while back, but his memory carries on. Uh, Gilbert Santana, and he worked here at, in Los Angeles in the media in various positions, ending up at being a uh, on-the-air news director. Okay, moving on. So, KR, battle plan? Nothing. There's nothing we can do. We just wait it out. We are 302%. Uh, 1289 is, our, is our, our profit at this point. And um, now we have to stretch this out just a little bit more because we need to see the double zeros. So uh, the plan will be is to um, wait it out. <laughs> I mean, I said it twice. So, you know, what, can, what else what can we say? So let's go on now to PG. And here at PG, PG had a little bit of a dip this morning. Uh, I, I, I always check the, I check the morning opening, uh, the, the first hour of the trade to get my ideas ready for the close at 1 o'clock and to prepare the YouTube video. And we had a bit of a pullback. It, uh, it, it was it was up here at 100, this is 116, and then it fell here. It went down below 100, and then now it's closed back at 101 right here. So we'll see if the uh, third ratio there is going to support that. Now, our exit is still the first ratio. Why? Because I'm not going to give the third ratio unless it gets up past the fifth or sixth ratio. Again, we do not want to contaminate this trading plan. It's a DTE. We're going to see how well it does, and it gets out 15 October. So as I said earlier, August 18th, we are less than 60 days away. Now, here's the danger. When we reach September 15, the option value, <laughs> known as time decay, will increase. So if we're losing, let's say as an example, we're losing a penny a day when we first start to trade. Then you get to the first at 30 days into the trade and then it goes to maybe a nickel a day. Then after that, it goes to 10 cents a day. Then it goes to 20 cents a day. So there's what they call time decay. And the, the only way to stay ahead of it is as long as the underlying stock has continuing momentum such as this. So that's what to, so that's going to be the danger zone going into the, about the deal. That's another one pitfall and danger zone about DTE, about not taking profits off the table. So if you're looking at something at 300% and you're looking at $1,289 profit and it doesn't owe you any money as such as it, as it does in my own trading plan, again, loss leader trading is a vanity. It is not considered to do it unless you have a, vanity streak or you want to prove to yourself that your trading plan works remember the whole idea behind my thing is proving the strategy if the strategy can take on the lost leaders and win back the lost leaders what else can it do in the open market which we see in the forward testing which is not doing the great because this is a very low period of the summer and but you can see here from our own real account that is holding, it's holding pretty well, well its own. Remember, the only two anchors keeping this account down is Yelp and T. Tilray Til is part of the is, is part of the is part of the exit group, DTE exit group. Only these two. So if these two would have been let go, let's go look at that. Because I did mark it up. So if 
here at Yelp, Yelp, this, this was Yelp's, uh, let me see, I have to actually go back a little bit further. Let's see what three months does. Okay, so Yelp got in here and then it never got past the gantry and then it got, and it should have been stopped out here. There is right there, it should have been stopped out right here at the low here of this day back on, on July 8th. On July 8th, it should have been like, boom, done. But no, we held on. Now, what are we doing? We're suffering through all this time decay. Yeah, time decay is eating us. In addition, that stock is not doing anything. But again, this is a test of the ODTE, the original rules for date two expiration trading. And it, gets, it goes down to certain parameters. If you're going to go for DTE trading, then you're going to be looking at I just saw a video on it a couple of days ago, and it said that their 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 idea of day two expiration trading was nine months, and another one said minimum twelve months. And the reason for the minimum twelve months was to give it a more chance to get up in numbers, and at the same time, get into cup getting into the tax situation. So anything you hold over a twelve month period, twelve month in a day. The, is that you, you're taxed on what they call capital gains and not on your regular income uh, as traders are traded, are, are as also traders because we are less than 12 months, do get taxed. All right, uh, that is, takes care of the, the L problem and then t at t is the same problem. And uh, again, this should have been stopped out there's, there's our entry way back here, and we should have been stopped out here on this gap. Right there, we should have been stopped out back on, again, July 8th. July 8th apparently was a very bad day, and things got stopped out. We did not. We carried on, and now we're, we're suffering through all this pain. That's the other problem about DTE trading. Can you stand the pain? And maiden traders cannot. This is why stops are tremendously important, putting them in. And then that's why the rest of the group is in, does have their stops. And you see we have had a, a few exits in the last couple of weeks. So uh, that takes care of the situation of the anchors that are pulling down the account. But we are at point 0.1 minus, point, minus 0 0.1. So we're starting to catch up. We only have 19 0.9% to overcome the SPY, and we still got the December. And once these two, once these two losers get off the field, the lo November and October, or they turn around and start climbing up because they have not hit the bottom yet. Look at this. They have not hit the bottom here at AT and T, and at Yelp, it hasn't hit the bottom there. Look at the bottom was formed there, and it's just it tests it, but it it gets ever so close and comes right back up again. But we're, are we going to get out? No, because we are committed to doing this to the end. And so therefore the account suffers. But we'll see what the acceleration might be starting uh, somewhere. Actually, the first acceleration, well, unfortunately, will start in the last month of December. But if we get more trades like this, it'll make up for it very quickly. All right. Uh, that said, Tel Ray will be on its own. We do have 19% of XLE. I do got to bring that to attention because there is a... Um, uh, something to really discuss here with XLE as a put. Uh, we did not complete the complete gantry. Now, going back to market wizards of Jack Swaggart and many of the pro traders of the wizards, market wizards, many would be looking at saying, okay, it got the close, the close got here. Well, what is, what is the close here? The close, the close got 4707. What is our, what is our ratio? If our ratio, I think our ratio is 47 even. So technically, we have cleared the first ratio by one penny. We have cleared the second ratio by one penny. So we are going to go ahead and move the stop then to the first ratio here. Now, again, when it comes to ratio exit, it becomes discretionary. And that we can talk in a later, deeper conversation later. So we're going to go ahead and move the stop from 48 to 4801, locking in a little bit of profit for XLE. And with that, we're going to conclude today's report. Of, of Greece Santana trading, August 18th, KR 302, and let's go on to Telray. <laughs>